What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to brighten up the place. Let's get into this Beautifully Honest reaction. We got another jail call between Ernesto and his girlfriend. I don't even want to call her a side piece at this point because it really sounds like they had an actual relationship. And it's really weird after all this time, even though in present day, we know that Shirley has come out and said that divorce proceedings are underway. It's really strange to hear at that time when she was having calls with him, there was really no emotional connection, it sounded like, in terms of love. I mean, she sounded like she was longing for getting him out of there and being with him again, but definitely on the side of him. I didn't hear him discussing love, the relationship, or even sex. Not that I would want to hear about that either, but we hear that between him and the girlfriend. So we've got another phone call. I'm just going to react to a portion of it, and I'm going to put a link to the full in the description box below. So let's just go ahead and get into this. So you ain't got to worry about that shit. So the answer that you asked, you asked me uh, two weeks ago, well, you know, I can't be doing all the bread. Where's your family at? What you got? No. You, so you... No, I know. I know. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I didn't say it. I can't be. I can't be. Because I'm not going to be doing all the bread. Where's your family at? 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 Where's your yeah, but I, I did not leave it for there. I'm a loner, and I guess you didn't listen. You didn't listen to what I was saying. You're a loner, but you still like I don't fuck with my yeah, man. I got, I got, day. I got, I got five dedicated people. That is it. I don't, I'm a, I don't really do business for everybody because they lie, they steal, they cheat, they for themselves. No, even family members. I, I don't do all that. They laugh in your mm. face, dig in your face. I can't, that part, I can't handle it. And I get really, really crazy when I get like that. Because loyalty is everything. And these people don't have loyalty at all no more. Did you hear him just say, <laughs> did you just hear what he said? He said, people don't have loyalty anymore. How can you speak about loyalty when you are married to someone and you have a full-on girlfriend? I don't think you have the right to speak about loyalty whatsoever. This ain't mm-hmm. the same. They ain't cut like, like when you grow up. There's nothing like this no more. Everything is fairytale. Mm-hmm. And I can't do fairytale too long. And, I, and I'm like, right. you know, I, I can see past it in five minutes. That's my problem. <laughs> Straight up. Right. Uh, yeah. I, like I said, I got kids. They, we cool and everything. But when that time I, I get down, we don't. We don't. Uh, I don't even put that together. I tried that a long time ago. Ten, fifteen years ago. That's that's not the ammo. So I don't even try to throw shit on people who can't handle that or they want. Uh, you know, I'm gonna give you them. There's so many people not to have a mother like you. There's so many people out here, but you might not can't see what I'm talking about. Cool, drawn, beautiful, up at age. You see what I'm saying? She would love mm-hmm. that shit. I said a mama broke down in a wheelchair, or fat as a motherfucker eating pork chop and shit. You see what I'm saying? That's still their mama. But they were, there's mm-hmm. a fine mama out here when I was locked up. Wish I had that fine mama come and see me. You that fine mama. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about, yeah. Like your son can't see that right now. Cause he ain't, he ain't into that. Ain't no pressure hit him like that. You, you know what I'm saying? He hears, but he's always telling me, "Can you? When I used to go to school, can you catch some things on?" I'm like, "Please shut up." I don't yeah. understand. <laughs> My friends keep talking. I'm like, "Your friends will be all right." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that is, and I, I do understand that. Yeah, they they little hard of it too, but I got that. But I've been getting there with my kids all my life, so I ain't. Wait, wait, what? What you say? say? Right back, so you be all right. 
Yeah. And I always see you looking like t-shirt and jeans, whatever type of bottom, so. Okay. Well, I'm, I always see you fancy in pictures, but I, in person, I always see you dressed down like you're about to go wash your car. Okay. Look at that one time. We went to go eat. A very like the third day I met you. You had some clothes on. You was dressed a little nice, and it was raining outside. We went to that little taco spot in Alpharetta. Yeah, just in that looking cozy and shit. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, but how, how, so how you feeling? Health wise? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. I had um, I thought about the business today um and. I'm a little excited because, you know, I, I know what it can do. And because um, Marlo, the person I work at the city, um, she called me yesterday because she wanted some help buying a car. So she wanted me to go with her to go help buy a car. And so we went today looking at cars. And we were talking about, you know, the city and all of that stuff. And she was like, it's going to take you about three years to pay that money back, right? And I was like, her like no. She was like, really? I was like, no. <laughs> Six months to pay that money back. She was like, "Friend, I was like, you, you don't understand the numbers that the businesses right now that are a quarter of the size of my business make right now. I said that little hole in the wall strip club makes the almost two hundred thousand dollars a month. I said, do you understand the money that this business is going to make? And I'm five times the size of that strip club, and they don't even have dancers. I talked to the house mom two days ago. She was like, we barely have dancers because they charge so much for them to dance." Yeah. Yeah, they're charging $160 to on the work. I'm like, a night? A night? A night? Yeah, to come in this show. They're charging $160 to on the dance at that hole in the wall. And it's not even like a magic city, you know what I'm saying, where it's just like guaranteed money. Damn. Well, well, I will say this right here. I do understand how you feel. I do have been there before. When you into somebody, you into somebody. Really, really... It's a certain person you into. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I felt that before. I do understand that boy. And then the, the disappointing that if they don't if they don't give you that same uh, feeling back, it's a, it's a, it's a mm -hmm. irritating feeling. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry about that feeling, cause that feeling was there for you and got started. Open up your box. <laughs> 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 Whatever, you know you got so much game. Well, no, anyway. it's true. No, no, you can tell that my ball was just a little strong. That's all. That, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, um, it's not. It's not every day. You don't find that uh, every day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you did make that comment, and, and it, it's wearing off on me now. It takes me like three days. Yeah, you, know, you say I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna settle. No, I'm not gonna settle. But uh, I do the me. I live a normal life. You know what I'm saying? But you say I don't. But you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep mind. You don't. How you gonna think that you gotta keep mind? But wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now listen, now and listen to me. I did 13 years fair and stay. When you right. have nobody to come see you, you out there uh, cutting hair in the baseball field or with a razor comb, you never got no Christmas package one or two. You know, the big other people having to see this shit. Uh, that, 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 who wants to go back to that? You heard him. He said he did 13 years fed time and state time. And at the age that Shirley was when she got with this dude, like, she didn't do any type of background checks on him. This is crazy. He's definitely a career criminal. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I never took time to even had the opportunity to talk to you lady because there wasn't no reason to. So, mm -hmm. like you, people don't know you're strong. They might like, that. she pretty as a motherfucker. Yeah, she pretty, but... Uh, you got to look past that shit. Then she got some motherfucking wit and some brain power to stick with you or to move mm -hmm. some shit uh, and keep your shit alive. So what I'm going to say is that I tried you uh, when I first met you. I said, you didn't get you about 10000 But I saw God had told me to put my faith in what I see. And what I see, I roll with. I saw you, mm -hmm. you always talk about business and how you know how to move your shit around. I was going to let that shit go with you and move on to something else. That's how I am. Because I had already did that, done that before. 
and that was boring to me, but I had the opportunity to lock the space down. So when you say I had a lot going on, yeah, I did have a lot going on. That's just my MO. Because you're busy. Uh -huh. Yeah, when you're busy, you can't get fucked up. But you just be lacking around and ain't doing shit, you can get fucked up. So uh -huh. I'm fucked up. That's just it. <laughs> Right. You got what I'm saying? Well, you have the ability, you always bounce back. That's the thing. That's the key. I'm a what now? If you have the ability, you always bounce back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, Brianna, with you, uh, it's a blessing to have you, and, and, and I, I bound on that. I'm good on that. And that's why I stress on that. Hey, man, don't think what I'm saying to you because I'm fucking all this now because I'm the same person when I was out there with you. But I don't have to really stress that much to you because you're grown enough to understand that. So that's that's the beautiful thing about our relationship that I like. I like that real shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember you made that statement. You say, uh, the guys down there, they were the day they didn't like you. They said, you got to put some more weight on. Well, listen, they didn't know what the fuck they had. That's that's the bottom line. When they had get old, they want to get them young girls, just fuck them around. But you look just like what they're looking at and looking for. For more, it's just they couldn't have that brain. You got it now? That's what it is, right? That's what I had told. Uh, Cal when I was looking at the twins, Calvin and Alvin, Calvin used to be sitting in life's teller. I said, he couldn't never date a woman his age because he's just holding the time and he's fucked up. And yeah. young girls, but they're mostly stupid out here, and they can deal with that because they don't know no better. Yeah. And so that, that's his thing because she, you know, he's 60. And she was it was she was like thirty two at the time. Right. And they dated it thirty thirty two, some shit around there. And I was looking at him like, Why are you with that old ass man? She's like, What I'm like, Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, like he's old man, older than me. Yeah. And he ain't like calling me mom. Look at how you ever think you're gonna say mom to me. You like, what I said uh, now. Yeah. I'm like, boy, I still get carded, don't play. <laughs> Okay, come on, Ma. No, no, dude. You call me Sonia. Don't call me Ma. I am what? not your mom. You got me about seven, eight years. Don't play. Uh, you know, it's, 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 and then I was always, and I was the only dated younger because that's what I attracted because people thought like me, thought I was younger than what I was. So older guys would never talk to me. It would always be young dudes. Like, I was really seeing other day and this dude pushed up on me. And I'm like, how old are you? He was like 30. I'm like, what the hell? What's going on, mother? And he was like, what? I was like, you yeah, don't you know, understand how old I am. Yeah, but I'm, I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. But I'm older than you. No, he do he, he was like, well, you roll, I'm like, yeah, I'll roller skate. I got like, to move like I'm young, right? But, you know, and he was talking to me, you know, but I was just like, yeah, you know, I got you about like, um, oh, I'm like 23 years. I'm yeah. 23 years. Yeah, I'm like, I, 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 I don't know. I'm thinking about this. Well, yeah, you know, all the women, they like them young boys. They, like, they love them young boys. Love them to death. Yeah. I, you know what? No, because my, my only thing is whenever I dated young, I had to raise them. That yeah, you it. had to raise them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to raise them. Because they became, became a, a bit of a mess. Like, they was lost, didn't have no direction. And they were open to it. You know what I'm saying? I've got some great students who are success right. stories. You know? <laughs> but um, at the same time, I was just like, I don't want to do this no more. You know? I don't, don't want to keep dating and raising people. Like, right? that's just not fun. Yeah, I'm, right. old, I'm right. older than your ass, too, though. I'm older than you, too. Oh, wait. You're older than you. You're the first person I've dated. Oh, I'm just not old, though. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, old No, you're not. You're not. Because we're only two years apart, so you're not yeah. that much older. We, we right here. We're going to forget shit. Alzheimer's, all of that shit, you know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what's going on with my back. I'm trying to figure that out. It's just, it's just, it's just, uh, did you drink a water? Are you exercising? Or are you gonna say fuck it? Um, okay, so I went, um, I was on my scooter today. Um, so I had to go to the job, and my car was charging, so I rode my scooter today to the job. 
Okay. I'm going to start, I'm going to get this tomorrow to start back road skating. And I'm going to tonight, as I come back from Dr. the school to my son, I'm going to start stretching in front of the TV like I was doing when I first moved here. Because I feel myself being a little tight and I don't want to be all uh, tight, you know. No, because you know what he is now. <laughs> what? is basically just a a full-on trash bag and just having these detailed intimate conversations with Sonya the girlfriend and then you heard her talking about how her daughter who's a teenager dates older guys around her age so I'm wondering how old she actually is I'm wondering if she's in her 30s or 40s because he's I believe in his late 50s And then she said how she usually would date younger guys. He's obviously not younger than she is, but she's catching feelings for him. He's talking about loyalty and all of that. And it's crazy how he can even sit there and even use the word loyalty, knowing that he's not loyal to anyone or anything. He's not loyal to the rules. He's not loyal to the laws. And he's definitely not loyal to the wife. But anyway, guys, I have a full link to the full video in the description box. You can go and listen to it. This is courtesy of Phone Calls from Jail YouTube channel. Thank you guys for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.